Hey guys, um, here I have Krita. Right, it's free, go check it out. It's a pretty robust art program. Um, I'm new to it, so be gentle. I'm not gonna go over a lot of the tools, or heck, any of the tools, to be honest. Uh, you know, there's a lot of tutorials on the uh, internet for that. Go, go uh, watch some uh, YouTube videos. Uh, as you can see here, I've already loaded a simple pre-generated biome uh, that 7 Days created for me. Uh, this is a 4K map, so it's pretty small, but you can see that it's missing one specific color, right? It's missing the desert color, and there's not a lot of wasteland to it, and, you know, there's just a lot of burnt areas, the green in the forest, and it looks pretty bland to me. Um, we're going to go ahead and edit this. Uh, so what I normally do is I use layers. I've, I've already gone ahead and pre-generated these layers. There's nothing on them. They're all blank. And I'll go ahead and I choose a specific color. I'm going to go ahead and just choose the... Uh, uh, the wasteland color, the orangey uh, yellow color, and then I'm going to do a paint bucket on the layer right above the uh, the original layer that I created, or that, that uh, the creator created for me. Uh, when you're going to do the paint bucket tool, just make sure that you link to current layer, otherwise uh, when you do a paint bucket it's going to um, not do what you want it to do, which is a full um, color fill. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that here. And now I got a whole beautiful wasteland, you know, lots of messy um, buildings and uh, bricks all over the place, right? Um, just imagine it. I'm going to go ahead and choose another color. Let's say I'm going to go ahead and add that desert in here. Now make sure that uh, you change your uh, uh, brush and you're making sure that you're also needing to use the pixel brush, okay? Otherwise, um, any brush will work except for brushes that have any type of blending features on them. Okay, so th again, the best the best tool would be the uh, the pencil or not pencil brush, the uh, the pixel brush. So just go ahead and uh, create your biome, and I'm going to make this simple. I'm going to put a big X there, and I'm going to choose another color. And keep doing that until I am happy with the biome that I've created, right? Choosing the specific colors that the game generated for you initially. So I'm good there. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Uh, make sure that you um, merge all your layers. Save it as your uh, PNG file. All right, your biome. You can see I've already messed around with it initially. Um, save it. Yes. Now I don't mess with this stuff at all here. Um, normally the uh, the the uh, settings that it comes with initially are are perfect. Um, the only thing that I really do is just I make sure that I uh, store the alpha channel as a transparency, and then I go ahead and click OK, and it saves. So go into your seven days, and it should really just load. Right. That's pretty much simple. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can uh, generate this world for you pretty quick and uh, take a look at what we did in the game. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, look at that, we're already in the middle area. for you. Let you see my X's. Oh, my X's live in Texas. Not really, I don't have any X's. Man, those colors are awesome. Look at those clouds. Go. See, look, we did that. You did that. You're gonna do that. See, it's pretty simple, guys. Nothing to it. Biomes are easier to create. And the game even puts the snow <laughs> on the trees. It's pretty cool. There's my X. See, my X. See? Alright. Cool, cool. <laughs>